research into conservation. So the scope of what we do is so much wider spread that it people are sometimes surprised by how limited our capacity for tourists can be. But mm -hmm. that's not all that we do here. A lot of our staff are doing lots of other things besides. Have you gotten to go over to Ranamathan and place at all? I haven't been over to Madagascar, no. I've been here for about three years now. Um, I'm hoping to, in the next couple of years, um, get some funding and grants together to send, start sending education staff over. But right now, we still have the program with our animal care techs, where after five years full time, they can go over mm -hmm. um, and um, get to see and experience Madagascar and see some of the conservation efforts. What are all their names again? Uh, that is Beatrice. That's Elliot. Elliot. And then Fritz over here. Yeah. Elena's got the call. Fritz is kind of a little here. Hey, Elliot. Fritz is kind of a little tank. He's very. It's okay, they don't know their names. I just. People ask that all the time. They're so surprised. And anyone's bubble, but the only reason the pets learn their names is because they get lots of attention. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so, okay. we're not interacting with them. <laughs> 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 uh, no, Beatrice has not had kids yet. She's still pretty young. She's around four or five. Um, so the reason we're not bringing them yet is when we move over to Europe, we're going to let them get settled. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Yeah. I was hoping for that. <laughs> They're actually researchers who spend their whole summer following them around, waiting for them to 